Hi everybody, I am talking to you from the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian. And I don't know if that's an appropriate reference because there are varying camps as to whether it was a hurricane or a tropical storm, depending on where you view it or were on the receiving end. I know in places like the Bahamas, they just have like toothpicks and matchsticks and, and all kinds of stuff in the aftermath and loss of life. And even in North Carolina where I am, there have been reports of loss of life like, um, I mean, people in their 80s that were out either at one fell off a ladder, another was trying to secure his property. And oh my gosh, you know, I, I can't fathom, you know, all of those kinds of stories because I just think that's where your life ends. And it just illustrates again, none of us know the day or the hour or what circumstances will surround the last day that we have here on earth. I think we get up every day and try to do the very best we can, but certainly I want to be sensitive and compassionate to wherever people are in before, during, and after a storm that uh, comes through. But uh, let me just introduce myself, Phyllis Moore, and this channel is named, la la la, I'm sorry, this channel is named Philosophically Speaking. So I, I don't know, maybe I'm just a little, you know, shell shocked, I guess, because, you know, we had so much going on with, you know, the reports, and you get saturated with weather and news and. You, you kind of just need to, I guess, take a break and, and come out of that, come out of the storm, if you will. But um, I, as I say this, as I'm, I'm talking to you, I just hope and pray there was not a lot of loss of property. And I mean, ideally that there would be no loss of life at all, but um, we can't count on that. But certainly we can pray that way and, and hope that that's the case. But. Uh, just you know you know i guess there's the adage the saying that i've probably shared before and you've perhaps heard it elsewhere that we are either coming into a storm we are in a storm or we are coming out of a storm and that is the literal storm that you might be experiencing this time of year when it is hurricane season or threat of a storm or whatever that fill in the blank in parentheses, storm represents for you. Maybe it's struggling with a person. Usually, a lot of our problems deal with people and you know things that they do, things that they say, they come up against us. It might even be this ghost of a person that's not even in our life physically. Uh, and I'm talking, you know, sometimes we have people in our own family that live across town or across the county or across the state. Um, and we don't even run into them, but they still are a looming presence. Um, a child that we don't have a relationship with or a friend that we lost that relationship through a series of circumstances, whatever. I just think we all are affected by other people and it's not something we just get over. It's not something we just ignore. And you know, I've said this before, there are people that say, I'm over it or I don't really care, or I could care less. Note here, asterisk, it should be, I couldn't care less. Because if you say I could care less, that means you probably still care. So whatever, semantics. But, you know, people that use these statements as if they are set in stone, I am done, I am over it, I am fine, I don't care. Okay, maybe that's true. Maybe that's completely accurate. Um, but yeah, you know, because none of us want to walk around and say, you know, I'm still carrying some hurt. I still have wounds. I, I was really affected by what people said and did to me. Or the most heartbreaking, they hurt my feelings. Oh my gosh, that one gets all over me. And I say it as well. But when you think about it, you know, I know people that are very strong, much stronger than I am, will say, um, you know, you, you can't make someone feel that. That's true, but you still affect them. Words hurt us, actions, tones, things that people do, if it's a slight or an insult from varying degrees, they do affect us. So it would be nice if words didn't 
bother us or hurt us or wound us, or we could forget them and shake them off, like Taylor Swift, shake it off. But easier said than done. So, you know, I wish, I wish that were not the case. But um, sometimes it's easier to hear, well, not to hear, but certainly to hold on to or be affected by things that are negative because either we already believe it about ourselves or it just hurts and it goes into a pocket that we can't get it out of. Whereas compliments, they tend to burn off really quickly and we forget or we don't take them as something that we can hold on to. That's unfortunate. But whatever storm you are dealing with coming in, a, in today or coming out of, uh, just know sad but true there's probably another one around the corner because that's just life and there's no way to prepare and brace and do everything that you can it's not like stocking up on bread and milk and or in my case cookie dough and what is it potato chips because I have to cover all of that I always try to make sure I have everything I need that there's gas in the car and in the event of a power outage I have all the phones and devices charged up so that I can make calls or, or have contact or some kind of um, connection to the outside world. And I will have all that. I'll have stuff for sandwiches and milk and bread and, um, you know, all the, all the, you know, things that you need, what non-perishables and things that you can have so that you're not starving. The food for the food for our animal and that kind of thing. But I do want to make sure the sugar and salt groups are covered. So I went out and, you know, had to roll a cookie dough. And then I was at another store that had the potato chips that I like and bought two little bags of those, just the, the small size. And when I got to the register, I knew the, the manager and I said to her, I said, okay, and thus ends my shopping for the hurricane. And she kind of chuckled and laughed, but I said, well, no, no, I just need. And you know what? Throughout the whole hurricane, which kind of the, the, the bulk of it, I guess, was, you know, a 16 hour period from, from, I guess, the wind and the rain and everything. And then the aftermath when it kind of wind, was winding down and I didn't eat those potato chips and I didn't eat that cookie dough. I did have a, a Hershey bar. Hey, Hershey, I am not under any kind of payment for sponsorship, but if you want to, I, I am your gal. Um, but that just was, was kind of the the thing that I, I bought. You know, candy's one of those, gosh, I remember when candy bars were five cents and 10 cents. So it's really, it's really tough for me to pay 75 cents or a dollar or to buy a king size bar for a dollar 38 or something. That just, that just affects me. That just upsets and hurts my feelings. Um, not as bad as, as things that people say and do though. That's a different kind of hurt, hurt feelings kind of thing. But just to kind of to wrap it up, um, you know, we can be facetious and if we can still laugh about things in the aftermath of a storm, that's helpful. It's kind of freeing. It's kind of um, good, good therapy, a good release. But uh, the bottom line will always be as long as we are safe, whether or not we have power, whether or not we have you know, a refrigerator or food or enough money to pay our bills, you know, those, those things kind of ebb and flow. But if we are still here to see another day, to try to have a blank canvas and say, okay, I'm going to say and do the things that I can and try to appreciate. That is huge. If you can feel gratitude, if you can say a prayer or be in a good place and say, you know what? I have a lot of blessings. I have a lot of things that have been provided for me. That is a great foundation and a great way to start your day, no matter what you're going through. Hopefully you are safe. You have uh, gotten in touch with your loved ones by now and, uh, and know where everybody stands. And, uh, certainly if, there are things that need to be done. I know I have seen lots of trucks on the road, lots of lights flashing, and I know they have just come out in droves. The different efforts, whether it's companies or power employees and things, to just respond to whatever is needed. And I, I just say special prayers for all of them to be safe because I don't care how how little or how big a storm is, certainly we don't want to take chances. We want to do the best that we can and help each other. 
be compassionate, be kind. You never know what storms other people are going through. So take good care of yourself today. Help other people. Receive what other people have to give for you because that's kind of kind of where we are, that we need to be a gracious receiver and hopefully a very generous giver to others. So God bless. Take care. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. We'll talk more later. Bye.